Welcome to ECU Flash Training Part 17. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our Tefra V7 Enhanced ROM options. These are going to include things like our valet mode, our alternate maps, our launch maps, or even repurposing our check engine light as a knock warning light. There's going to be all kinds of things to cover. Let's jump into this video so we can check them all out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be talking about our Tefra ROM options. And these are going to be the things that we can use to add features and functions that are specific to the Tefra V7 ROM, whether we're gonna be an EVO 8 or EVO 9, mass airflow or speed density. We're gonna find we can still enable and turn on all of these features. Again, they're specific to just working with the Tefra V7 ROM. Those extra code has been inserted here to allow us to have these additional features and functions. So in order to understand what we're working with here, let's jump down into our current ROM metadata and move all the way to the bottom of our list here. We're gonna find I've structured our ROMs in our XML definitions to look at all of the Tefra ROM options at the very bottom instead of the very top. If you've downloaded the stock default Tefra V7 ROM, you'll find that this area right here is at the top of the file, which I find a little bit cumbersome. A lot of times I don't need to work with most of the tables in here, so I've moved them to the bottom here and uh, just kind of lay this thing out a little bit differently. So let's jump in here to our enable disable Tefra mod options list. This is going to be our master checksum to turn things on or off to make features work or disable them. Um, so the very first option we have here for the enable valet mode, that's going to be set here to a zero. So zero means off, a value of one means on. If we take a look down here in our list, some things are showing a value of one, meaning they're turned on already as default. Others are turned off. So the ones that are on here that are turned on are useful features that aren't going to interfere with the general operation and the and the way that the ACU is going to run and other things are turned off because they're going to be a choice if we want them to work or not. So looking here at the valet mode, we can see that this is going to be turned on. This is going to allow us to put a lower rev limiter in place so the engine can't be damaged if we drop the car off to the valet or if we're going to go and bring our car into a shop to get some work done to it. We don't want them abusing and beating the car so we could put a lower rev limiter, something like three or four or five thousand RPM so the vehicle is still able to be operated and moved but it's not able to be driven hard so that damage could occur to the engine. So what we'll find here is that we have our valet maps here. So let's just open these up and then we'll talk about how this works. So if we wanna turn this on here, we need to go and uh, change this from a value of zero to one. We'll accomplish that with our right closed bracket key, the square bracket key. If we wanna turn it off, we'll toggle it back here to a zero to the left closed bracket key. So either right or left. We can go here and actually have higher values beyond one, but we're only working with values from zero to one here in this particular field. So we wanna turn it on and we'll have it a value of one. Now, in order to enable the valet mode, we have to keep our foot on the throttle. So our vehicle would be off, keys all completely off. We keep our foot on the throttle, we turn the key on. When we turn the key on, we have to have our foot down on the throttle and we're specifying here for 3000 milliseconds or three seconds for the valet mode to turn on. Once it's turned on, we'll find that the check engine light will flash. It'll stay constant blink for 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds. So the check engine light's gonna stay on for 10 seconds and then it will shut off and it'll tell us that the valet mode has been enabled. And then it's gonna be applying the rev limiter that we're finding right here at 1500 RPM. So we could place this at something like three, four, 5,000 RPM. That'll again, keep it in this valet mode and block someone out from driving your vehicle hard. Now. Every time we shut the key off and turn it back on again, this valet mode will be recycled and it will go back to zero, so it's gonna be turning itself off. And we have to go through the same process again by pushing a throttle down with the key off, turning the key on, waiting for three seconds, and then waiting for the check engine light to flash it just again. Now that may not be ideal if you're actually dropping your car off in a valet mode because in that situation, um, they're gonna be shutting the car off and then turning it back on again and bringing it back around if you're in a true valet and then you'll find that. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.